On behalf of the Women's Basketball Coaches Association, I want to thank the NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Committee, NCAA Vice President of Women's Basketball, Lynn Holzman, and her staff for graciously extending this opportunity to announce our 2022 WBCA Coaches All-America team and present the Wade Trophy and WBCA National Coach of the Year Award. It's been a long-standing tradition of the WBCA to recognize the 10 Coaches All-Americans in person. We have been unable to do that these last two years due to the pandemic. And unfortunately, this year, we are unable to do so once again for reasons of health and safety. It, however, is a tradition we hope to resume very soon. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce the chair of the WBCA Coaches All-America Selection Committee, Arkansas Head Coach Mike Neighbors, to announce this year's Coaches All-Americans and the winner of the 2022 Wade Trophy. Thanks, Danielle. It is my honor to recognize these young ladies uh, and announce the 2022 Coaches All-America team alphabetically. Aaliyah Boston, South Carolina. Thank you all for being here. Cameron Brink, Stanford. Caitlin Clark, Iowa. Alyssa Kinane, North Carolina State. Nas Hillman, Michigan. Ryan Howard, Kentucky. Ashley Jones, Iowa State. Haley Jones, Stanford. Elizabeth Kitley, Virginia Tech. And Melissa Smith from Baylor. And the Wade Trophy, presented annually to the best college women's basketball player. And that award goes to South Carolina's Leah Boston. Thank you, Aaliyah. And your words, yes, absolutely. You got to talk. All right. Hey, guys. Um, just want to say thank you all again. Thank you for everyone's support. And um, thank you to all the coaches that voted. Um, wouldn't have this award without you guys. And thanking God. But have a good day. Go Cox. Yeah. All right. Congratulations, Aaliyah. And congratulations to all 10 WBCA coaches, all Americans. Now, it is my distinct honor and privilege to present the Pat Summit Trophy to the 2022 WBCA NCAA Division I National Coach of the Year, Dawn Staley of South Carolina. Dawn may want this. Um, just want to thank the WBCA and all its voters for um, this prestigious honor. Obviously, um, our, our village is strong. And because our village is strong with our coaches, our support staff, our players, um, getting recognized like this doesn't happen very often. But when, it, when you do, um, you give respect and, and honor to the people who, who make it happen, the people that make it happen behind the scenes, our coaching staff, our players, our staff members, our, you know, our administrators, our, our fans. Um, Lord knows if I didn't get this trophy, it would be heck on social media. So thank you. 
Thank y'all. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, Dawn. Congratulations to you and a great year. We will be distributing press releases announcing the Coaches All-America team, the Wade Trophy winner, and the National Coach of the Year by email shortly. Please watch your inboxes. The releases will also be posted on our official website, wbca.org. Finding my final um, page. Here we go, here we go. And finally today, I would like to invite Mel Greenberg to join me on stage to honor two of your colleagues who have dedicated their professional careers to promoting women's and girls basketball on the national and community levels. First, we present the Mel Greenberg National Media Award to ESPN commentator, Holly Rowe. I guess we will make sure Holly gets this, and we will make sure there's a great photo op when that happens. So a big congratulations to Holly. Although we have presented the Mel Greenberg Media Award to national and regional media personalities since 1991, this is the first year we are presenting the award to an individual who has worked tirelessly to promote our sport at the local level. And no one could be more deserving of our first Mel Greenberg Community Media Award than Minnesota spokesman recorder, reporter, Charles Hallman. Charles, would you like to say a few words? Uh, I, I kind of wish you stopped making me stop working to do something like this. Uh, but I appreciate, I thank God for giving me the gift to be able to write and support women's athletics and women's basketball in particular. I just do my job, that's all I wanted to do. Only thing that was important to me was the, the words that I wrote, not my name. So I really appreciate it. this is something that's unexpected. And thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you for all you do. All right, congratulations to Charles and congratulations to all of today's honorees. We thank you.